Canadian prairie town of Viking, Alberta, where it is a balmy minus 15 degrees Celsius. I'm here with my travel agent, and today we're going to be photographing and measuring the General Electric C30-7. Okay, we told them what it is. You can turn off the cloaking device now. Ah, there we go. Isn't she a real beauty? The General Electric C30-7 was an evolution on the earlier Universal Series U30C, bringing many upgrades that resulted in a more reliable and powerful locomotive. Production of the C30-7 lasted from September 1976 until May 1986, with just over 1,100 units being produced. As such, there were many variations to the units over that time, as well as railroad-specific details. So let's start off with the easy stuff. Early and late rear filter arrangements, early small exhaust stack, and later bathtub style exhaust stack. Early style rear end, as well as the late style rear end, both four and five step stairs on both the front and rear pilots. A multitude of truck side frames, including Rockwell castings and Adirondack castings. And don't get me started on Burlington Northern's treatment of musical truck side frames either. Moving to the front, there were options for both low headlights and high headlights, with some late high headlight units having a smooth nose. Some roads even chose to implement both, with one pair acting as a gyrolite. You also have various beacon options as specified by the railroad, including Santa Fe Stratolite beacons, as well as smaller beacons found on select BN and UP units. And yes, BN even mixed those up too. And beyond that, various different antennas, equipment boxes, and other finer details. So really, the C30-7 with all its various details is essentially my punishment for once upon a time saying all GEs look the same. So I guess what everyone's wondering is if this is really gonna be the quintessential model of a C30-7. There's probably a good chance of that. Are we going to make more GE locomotives that are six axles or maybe even another four axle? There's a good chance of that too. Am I going to take back my words that all GEs look the same? Yes. Am I getting cold? Yes. Does my butt hurt from sitting on the tread plate of a GE locomotive? Also yes. 